Hey guys, so welcome back to Miner's Haven. Now, I've been asked a lot to do a video regarding my candy setup like I usually do every year, so here I am. The reason it looks very weird is because there are a lot of problems regarding conveyors with the gumball dropper machine things. So we're going to show you why I'm kind of bypassing that problem and making everyone's life a lot easier with this. I promise. It, it helps so much. Okay, now listen. Here's what's going to happen. You're going to place a hydraulic uh, or any teleporter, but this works best, um, with a way up high and a mini converter going into Candy Castle. You want to, after Candy Castle, place Pumpkin Pie Refiner and or Caramelizer. The reason is these have higher conveyors than the rest of these, so if you use these in the middle of the setup, your ores are just going to get stuck. Then you pretty much place all of the others, Grand Wafer, Candy Corn Real Estate, Pumpkin Spice Refiner, Sugar Corroder, The Rock, Gummy Refiner, Giant Pretzel. And that then that is where I started to have problems if I just kept adding more upgraders. Uh, the ores would basically just stop on the conveyor and not do anything. So I figured out that if you drop the ores onto the conveyor after going at a fast speed, um, those problems don't happen. So here's my solution. If we uh, take any teleporter with a pumpkin spice conveyor, you will need a heavenly conveyor before chocolate forest or some faster conveyor than pumpkin spice. Uh, ultimate conveyors work as well. But uh, pumpkin spice is what I used, and then a heavenly going into chocolate forest, uh, and then all of these are just pumpkin spice conveyors, but a conveyor with cookie nader, two freons, candy corn, candy refiner, lollipop, and then um, just right into the furnace. And it works really, really quickly. It's not bad at all. Uh, the only thing that takes a while, and this is going to be with pretty much every candy setup out there, is getting the ores from the mine to the furnace. It can be slow because there's no cannons allowed for this. But that does not actually affect the rate you're getting candy. It only affects the rate from if you stop producing candy and when you start producing candy again because the ore is pretty much constantly coming through the setup. So as you can tell, I'm still getting a pretty quick rate of candy, but if I was to stop producing pumpkinite ore for like 10 seconds and then start back up again, it would take a little while to get the ores here, but that consistent flow would start up again. So as you can see here, it's pretty quick. Um, it's not the greatest thing just yet because I still don't have candy core. Uh, I haven't been bothered to. I've been buying all the other items in order. Um, but candy core, definitely worth picking up. Uh, increases the amount, uh, the output of candy ores from Halloween mines, stains regular ore with Kalian colors, increases their value when activated. So really, really worth it if you're farming for uh, gifts, and especially if you want that new, brand new exotic uh, upgrader that's come out, it just seems really worth it, to be honest. I don't know the official stats, but I think it's a 10 to 12 times multiplier, so it actually might be really good in third sack. So just saying, uh, this is my current setup. This does not use Candy Core, uh, nor really any of the new items. So I just figured this was worth putting out there because I've actually had a lot of ease using the setup. It has not been very difficult for me to use um, during the times I've been actually farming with it. So relatively quick um, when used to its full potential. I test this with an auto clicker usually and I get 10k in about maybe a minute and a half. Um, I'm just kind of doing this really quick because I've got to go uh, and I'll just upload this when I get home. So, yeah. Uh, that's, that's about it. Alright, I will, uh, see you guys later. Peace.